Welcome to Journey 7, I'm Kevin. Uh, tomorrow we are flying out to Florida to see how our E85 fuel system is going to do for the 12C. Uh, it'll work in the 12C, 650, 570, uh, 675, I'd be almost positive. Uh, so I've gone through the system in my head a million times. I've gone over the spare that I have a million times, bringing that down to Florida. Uh, obviously, I, I think of anything I could change, but really, I tested the crap out of this thing. So, we're gonna fly out and see how it goes. So, right now, uh, we all know Dino Spectrum's awesome, but they gave us a bit of data that was very important. Uh, found that when the check valve from the fuel filter uh, and the, the pressure stops inside the system, it isolates fuel between the check valve and the injectors. Uh, what happens with that is if it's hot, fuel expands, increases pressure, and there will show us the pressure rise as the car shut off. Uh, so what we're doing is removing check valves to prevent uh, a vapor lock or a hydraulic lock on the injectors, preventing them from opening because of increased pressure. Uh, being returned or a non-returnable system, uh, that stuff's pretty important. So right now we're going through that and uh, gonna get this thing back and going. If you don't succeed, try, try again, and uh, found out what we need to change. Obviously, a lot of great people making all the changes and uh, teach me good things. And so, uh, we're ready to be putting the tank back in. So, right now, the car's coming down. Uh, drop the tank. These guys are insane. Like, absolutely insane techs. Uh, no hell of a lot. Put everything I've ever seen to shame. Uh, but we swapped out, put a new bulkhead in, because uh, I had one ready, replaced uh, wiring harnesses, I had inverted the fuel level sensors, so we had that rectified, and then removed the check valves, and uh, so that way the uh, fuel expansion can go back into the tank. Ready to go again? What was it? Fuel tank in and out, or out and back in, in yeah, an hour? Less than an hour. Less These an guys hour? Did, yeah, they're intense. Got them here quick.
just got back and the fuel system did great. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna say that there weren't things we wanted to try and check. Uh, we had check valves and we had uh, heat that would heat the fuel lines being an issue. You gotta kinda watch out for that. But I can tell you one thing, Dino Spectrum puts work in. I mean, it was a very impressive process. Uh, the whole thing was uh, very good. Um, it, at the end, we dynoed uh, approaching 900 horse, 75% uh, duty cycle on the fuel system with E85, uh, and it was, I think, in excess of 78, 7900 RPM. Uh, I'd have to double check the fact, but right around there. So at this point, it's not necessarily the limitation of any fuel system uh, or injector size because there were 1700 cc injectors. I think they're at 65% duty cycle. Uh, it's limitation of uh, probably electronics, wastegates, you know, the, the combined uh, effect of all those. But uh, fuel system is working great. Uh, it was an impressive event. Uh, I've never been in a dyno uh, where I was hiding behind a lift just because it was just an intense sound. So I'm really excited to get more content out. Seth and I are <laughs> definitely gonna have a lot of fun in our dyno sessions. So see you guys soon.